agresivo, a lo agresivo Eso parece que lo encuentras atractivo A lo agresivo, a lo agresivo Eres prohibida como un falso negativo Tú y yo Queriéndonos como locos y con Made it to Took Me Waterfall. It's really beautiful here. And also met up with Carl again. How you doing? Alright. It's a bit loud here, so we're gonna go down a bit and uh, update you on what's been up. So I've joined up with Kyle again and we are here walking down the road. He's having a bit of a allergic reaction to something. Not feeling so good, right? Yeah, just itchy eyes and just happy I can still see to finish off this trip. Yeah, well hopefully it doesn't get worse. We're here now at Tukmai Waterfall and it's about 10 kilometers off a little road, uh, off the main Ho Chi Minh Road and we are doing the last stretch today. So we are driving from Gam Tui to Hanoi and we're hitting up the Ho Chi Minh Road then hitting the expressway and going into Hanoi and we just stopped at this waterfall which will be the last scenic stop. We're driving through the mountains now next to a national park so the drive should be nice for the next little while and then we head on more busy main roads. So let's get some footage of the trip and then show you when we arrive in Hanoi. We've been over quite a few awesome suspension bridges on this trip. I think this is one of the best ones though. It's really beautiful with the scenery behind us and a little bit wobbly if you wobble it. I'm uh, worried about my bike falling over there. And here comes a little other motorbike so I'm just gonna stand out of the way. Thank you. 
Okay, we made it to Hanoi. Yes. That's probably like 3,000 kilometers we did. So. Yeah, I um, feel pretty exhausted. I feel pretty exhausted, but I also feel very accomplished. We finally did it. Uh, I accomplished learning how to drive a manual motorbike. At the very beginning, I was stalling out a lot whenever I came to a red light. And now I got full control over the manual. And um, yeah, the views were amazing. It was very mountainous up until we got to Phong Na. Phong Na is the area with the caves. From the caves up until Ninh Bin, wasn't really much to see. So I just kind of cruised up there and went kind of fast at that part. But um, overall, got a lot of amazing pictures and uh, it was great being in such quiet environment and just serene beauty. It's amazing. It's cheers. Cheers, cheers with that. To uh, completing Ho Chi Minh to Hanoi. So, made it to Hanoi, what a trip, so this half of the country that we did in the last, I think probably 10 days, 10-11 uh, days, I've lost track to be honest, um, was really amazing, so many beautiful, beautiful roads and scenery, saw a lot of the kind of stuff that I wanted to see that I was looking forward to winding roads through the mountains, uh, beautiful mountain top views. And that's kind of, that's what I wanted out of this trip. I wanted to finish the journey, see some beautiful things, and then, yeah, make it up to Hanoi. So now I've done that, I think there's a lot more cultural, historical stuff to see and do. Everywhere we stopped, there was, except for the small towns, there was stuff to do that I could have spent more time on but that wasn't really the intention for this trip it was just to to do it and get it done and capture some beautiful shots so I hope you enjoyed all the footage and it was entertaining to watch and now I'm gonna enjoy a bowl of bunted nung noodles just here on the busy Hanoi sidewalk and yeah this has been a pleasure filming uh, some downs for sure uh, but I came out mostly <laughs> unscathed and yeah again if you want the resources that I've talked about check out uh, Tidget below for motorbike rental those bikes are great no problems the whole trip which is something to be said for check out the map Tom made for us at Vietnam Coracle and his full guide where I got a lot of the info about this trip from and if you want to come start teaching English in Vietnam and do trips like this uh, make sure to check out ninjateacher.com which is our company where we run a TESOL certification training um, and we help you get started with everything from coming over to Vietnam to uh, getting trained, getting certified, and helping you find a job so that you can live out here, make a good salary, and then, yeah, spend time on trips like these when you have some holiday. Okay, so I think that's it for this video, for this series. I think I've got to make more road trip videos uh, in the future. If you want that leave a comment below please tell me what you thought about these videos in the comments uh, I think for me these were at least some of the videos that I put the most passion into I guess you could say because they are difficult to film when you're on the road uh, you know stopping to get all the shots to capture all the moments uh, and I didn't do it as well as I wanted to I already know that without even having edited the videos together but I think I did as good a job as I could given 
where I'm at with filmmaking skills. It's not even filmmaking, it's more uh, vlogging, but capturing moments. That's what I wanted to make this about, showing you the experience, showing you the country uh, as best as I can. And yeah, I'm sure there could be improvements, but I'm really proud of them so far. We'll see how they come out, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that, at least in terms of what people have done in terms of making videos uh, of road trips across Vietnam, I don't think anyone's captured it in as much detail and as authentically as I have. Uh, well, who's to say? I'm not, I'm not the one to say. You guys let me know what you thought. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna stop rambling and wrap it up. So stay tuned for more videos about life in Vietnam and teach English in Vietnam. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll speak to you in another video. Peace.